The Earth isn't just one giant solid rock, it's made up of different layers. If you go down far enough below the Earth's surface, you'll eventually reach red-hot molten rock. The layer we live on floats on top, it's called the crust. The crust is made up of huge blocks of Earth, called tectonic plates, and this is where earthquakes happen. These pieces roughly represent the tectonic plates that make up the world. Might look a bit like a neat jigsaw puzzle, but in real life the pieces don't really fit. They're always changing, moving around and bumping into each other. When that happens, it can create an earthquake. Tectonic plates move at a very slow rate, just a few centimetres every year. Yep, that's even slower than this snail. You'll just have to trust me on that. The thing is, because we're talking about such huge blocks of Earth with a lot of pressure behind them, those collisions can cause a lot of damage. Luckily, big earthquakes don't happen very often. But there are millions of tiny ones every year, most so small we never even notice them. The majority happen along the edges of where the tectonic plates meet, like the one Nepal experienced right here. That's why the same places seem to be hit by major earthquakes again and again. Luckily, as you can see, Australia is in the middle of a plate, so we probably don't have to worry too much.